Hey everybody, Aaron Blaze here. It's Friday, November 25th, and we are here the day after Thanksgiving. I hope you guys had a great holiday yesterday. We had a great one. We had a really good time. We got the whole family together, ate lots of food, and here we are back to work. There you go. Happy Black Friday. You get 12 hours. That's all you get. <laughs> so, but uh, today I thought it'd be fun. Uh, you know, we're trying to get this animated short, Snow Bear, done. And... Um, we keep getting pulled away on different things. So today I just decided, you know what, we've got an extra day. I'm going to work on Snow Bear, and I thought I'd pull you guys in with us. So I've got a shot here that I'm working on. But before I get all to that, I'm going to hand it over to Nick to talk about some of the big sales we've got going on. Yes, it is Black Friday. So over at CreatureArtTeacher.com, we've got all kinds of crazy deals going on. We have uh, six courses. Well, we've got three courses that are new courses that are 50% off for pre-order sale. Uh, we've got oil and digital portrait painting with Ken Spruduso. We've got animation on paper with Mr. Aaron Blaze right that, over there. That's going to be cool. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, we've got design stylization with David Coleman, which is a really cool one about a question we get all the time, which is how do you find your style? We've got six courses that are just $5 each. There's actually more than those six, but those are the six that we're highlighting, which include the character design course, story, pro drawing and procreate, drawing with clear expressions, acting for animation. And for the first time ever at that low of a price, our how to draw horses course is uh, way marked down right now. We've got two brand new prints up for Black for Friday, signed, which if you want to get those, you need to hurry up and place an order so we can get them shipped to you in time for Christmas. Imagine that, tigers. Who would have thought I'd draw tigers? Yeah. 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 I never knew you could draw them. And <laughs> then also, uh, I don't know if you've got a slide for this, uh, Dustin, or not, but we've got our membership is buy one, gift, gift, give one, get one free. So basically, yes, it's, 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 it is. Uh, you got it right there. Both memberships are marked way down, and or sorry, the membership is marked way down. And if you buy an annual membership to Creature Art Teacher, you get access to all 600 hours on the website of our content plus you get to send one to a friend so or yeah. you can kind of use it on yourself too if you yeah you kind of can there's a way to cheat it yeah there's, there's, yeah you so. basically just got to send it to a second email address that you have control <laughs> you of. Cheat. Yeah. if you don't have anybody that you want to share it with which we've had people say that they're like i don't have anybody i want to send this to <laughs> <laughs> well that's just lonely i'm sorry yeah <laughs> but hey it is what it is but uh yeah the paper animation course i mean all the all the new stuff that's coming out is going to be great but the paper animation course we've been getting so many we've had such great responses to when i sit and draw um on paper to well when i'm doing animation on paper and you know nick and i talked about it and just thought you know what this would be really fun to kind of keep that art alive because it feels like it's a dying art. I don't, you know, nobody from a production standpoint really animates on paper anymore. It's all digital. And, um, and so... It's really know, sad. Yeah, there's, well, I mean, I, it's much more efficient to animate digitally for production. But there's such an art to animating on paper. Um, and I love, at the end of the day, having a stack of paper that you can flip. And so... Um, so, yeah, I'm going to take you through, I'm going to take the viewers through all of that, um, how to flip the paper, you know, the basics of all that charting, bouncing balls, you know, I'm going to take you through some of the basics of the animation, the character uh, animation, we're going to do a lot of different things, so it's going to be fun. So, There's anyway. also uh, the very special animation we'll be doing late, later, is it December? Oh, yeah, 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 December 17th. Yeah, we've got, um, we're doing a, um, a live Live you know, one of our live oh, that's right, uh, yeah. online events. Yeah, completely forgot about that. I did too. Yeah. yeah. Saturday, December uh, Seven, 17th. December 17th. December I'll be 15th. Animating, 15th. Yes, I'll be animating <laughs> in Procreate live. So we're, we're going to be doing a live course. And so many people have Procreate. And it's, you know, Procreate you can animate along with painting and drawing and everything else digitally. Uh, you know, in the last couple of years, they introduced animation. And it's really introduced you know, being able to animate to a lot of different people who otherwise wouldn't have done it. So I did a, uh, a lecture when we were at Lightbox uh, a few weeks ago, and I did a demo uh, animating a bear running in, in Procreate. And a lot of the audience drew along with me, and so many people came up to me afterwards 
so happy because they'd never animated anything before and they had a bear running. And I thought, you know, it'd be kind of fun since so many people use Procreate to go ahead and do a, a, a live online course, uh, six hour, you know, one day kind of thing. So go over to creatureartteacher.com slash live and you can see that, get information there. By the way, yeah, that's what I was going to say, creatureartteacher.com slash live. You beat me to it. Yep. Yes. Spots so, are very limited on that, too. Yes, they are limited. Um, so here we are. This is the shot that I've been working on. Um, if you're a member on our website, uh, creatureartteacher.com, um, you can come in and you can, you know, every Monday and, or every Tuesday and Thursday, you can watch me animate and work on the short. And so for those of you that were there on Thursday or on Tuesday, um, you saw me animate this. You saw me break it down and, and get it to where we are now. Since then, I've been breaking it down further. Eventually, I want to get it down to twos. Now, what does that mean? I want to get it down to where each drawing is held for two frames and it moves through the animation. When we watch animation and it's held for two frames, if it's slow enough, it still feels smooth. Um, fast action, we have to put that on ones. That means one drawing for every frame. But by and large, we can get away with twos. So right now what I'm doing is I'm breaking down each of these key drawings down to their breakdowns, which means I'm going to be holding each one of these drawings for four frames once I get it broken down. And then I'll go through one more time. I know it sounds kind of confusing. And in between it again, and that'll be on twos. So let me play it for you. And you'll see in the beginning, as he's walking up the hill here, um, it's a little bit kind of jerky. And then about halfway through, then it gets really jerky. Right in here, there's a lot of time between each drawing. I've got to smooth that out. So I, I do pat, you know, right now, a lot of these drawings are held for eight frames. Well, I'm breaking it down, and then they're going to be held for four frames because I'm adding drawings in between those eights. And then I'm going to go through on those fours and put another drawing in between those, and that'll break it all down to twos. So today, we're going to get it down to fours. I hope that makes sense. Uh, Shea on YouTube says, Excellent Friday stream. I hope your recent camping trip was a huge success. Well, it was a huge success. It, it wasn't the camping trip we had anticipated. Yes. Um, because we only got to camp for about two days before a hurricane came in. And, day, day and a half, really. Yeah, yeah, day and a half. And it just changed all of our plans. Um, so we went from camping in the park to 30 people in the hotel. And Nick and I rented out the, uh, the ballroom in the hotel, and we made it work. Yeah, we turned it into an indoor watercolor yeah, workshop. Ronnie Williford and I taught for three days in the ballroom, and it became an indoor watercolor class. It wasn't really plain air after that. But it worked. Everyone seemed happy. I think they were happy. Uh, Erica says, already signed up for the live workshop. She's ready to go. All right. That's awesome. Erica. Erica was there at the Orlando event. Indeed. The Orlando event. It sounds like a car, car commercial. Come on down. Don't miss the Orlando event. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. So I'm going through, and you can see my onion skin is on. I've got a blue, a blue and a purple. That's the drawing before and the drawing after, and I'm putting the drawing in between. Oh, so today, uh, seems that today's the 30th anniversary uh, for a movie you worked on, Aladdin. Oh, and, yes, Aladdin. I remember Aladdin. What was your favorite uh, character and scene in the film, and what character would you have wanted to animate other than Raja that uh, you supervised? Um... You know, I don't know. I mean, I, I really enjoyed, I, 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 I animated a little bit of uh, Jasmine as well. But here, um, there you go. here's Raja. This is the maquette, the actual maquette I had on the film. And uh, this is the character that I designed for the film and then animated. There he is. For some reason, oh, Raja. Looked, for some reason, it looked way more yellow. Yeah, I don't know yeah. why. Over here than it really is. But that's Raja. I'm going to go put this down before I drop it. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to break a piece of history. Yeah. But I, um, it was a fun movie to work on. 
but um, I don't, you know, in, in that film, I don't know if there's any ones that I really wish I could have worked on. I was happy with what I was doing, and I don't really feel like I missed out on anything on that one. And for the new folks that um, uh, that don't know, but what uh, software are you currently? Using? Oh, this is TV Paint software. So um, I do all of my digital hand drawn animation in TV Paint. Unless you're on the go using an iPad, in which case you use yes. either Procreate or yes. there's also an app called Calipeg that you use from time to time. Absolutely but. true. <laughs> and Patrick, uh, uh, Patrick McGinley on uh, Facebook says uh, about the recent workshop. So you're saying the retreat blew you away? Uh, <laughs> it tried to. It tried. Quite literally. Have you been watching the World Cup? Twitch question. No. The World Cup, you say? I've never Aaron, been much of a Aaron's not a huge sports guy. guy. Sports in general, you've never really been. I mean, you like... Um, There's a lot of like extreme sports I liked, and I liked... Um, uh, like Wake not, I, and... I'm not crazy about a lot of traditional sports. Let's right. put it that way. Right. But... A uh, question for Aaron. Am I able to post my final artwork after I follow along with your tutorials, for example, the lion head poses in your big hat classes? Yeah, of, of course. course. People do it all the time. Absolutely. And you're not obligated to, but anytime you want to mention that it's from one of our tutorials, that's always helpful, too. But you're not required. Now, I did recently <clears throat> see... Um, a video about the, I, I don't know if it's the World Cup, I think it uh, is based around it, but the uh, the Japanese fans, like, when, Cleaning uh, up. when everyone mm -hmm. else left this That's why I love stadium. that culture, man. It's they all, all just, about uh, respecting your fellow man. Stadium. Yep, it's all about respecting your fellow man. Speaking of Aladdin, did you ever get to meet Robin Williams while you were making that? Not while we were making it, but I did meet Robin Williams. Afterwards, right? Afterwards, yep. Uh, and then YouTube question, have you ever thought about making a how to draw primates course or apes? Like for example, chimps, gorillas, orangutans, yes. gibbons, snub nosed monkeys, and snow monkeys. Yes. Probably won't hit all of those, but. Actually, yeah, it's in the yes. works. That's, that's that or reptile. It's funny because we've had actually more interest in a reptile course. Yeah. Which surprised me. Me too. Uh, have you been to uh, Iran and Dubai, and do you want to go there? Um, definitely want to go th uh, to Dubai and do a course. Uh, I don't know enough about Iran. I don't think we can actually just fly to Iran. So, uh, And no, I don't really want to go to Iran right now because of all the unrest that's going on. Uh, but... Uh, I'd love to go there one day. I'd like to maybe go... Maybe one day, yeah. Nick and I have been through the airport, I, can, I guess, in Dubai... Yeah, but I definitely would like to do a, a, a workshop there. So here I'm just just kind of working the body, these are not straight in-betweens, they're, they're almost straight in-betweens, but they're more kind of breakdowns. Uh, YouTube question. I am trying to start drawing digitally. I can't help but feel a little intimidated by it. Is there any quick tips that you can give for, on going from paper to digital? I never know what the default pens or brushes to use, etc. Well, do it, it really is just using whatever brush is comfortable for you. you know, I, I, you really don't need special brushes. I mean, I, I know I make a lot and I sell a lot, but the default brushes that are available in a lot of the different softwares are usually just fine. I know in Krita, you know, when I tried that, it was great. 
Photoshop I use and, it, and the, the defaults are fine. Clip Studio I'm sure is the same. So um, as far as that goes, the, the rest of it is, you know, a little bit of it is the hardware, I think, or I think a, a big part of it is the hardware. When I went from drawing on paper to drawing on uh, a, you know, a, a pen display like what I'm using now, uh, it was almost seamless. Now, I know a lot of people can't do that, but if you can get something like an iPad or something comparable to that, uh, then it's not, then it's really just learning the software. A walk and that just takes walk time. One is a nice a walk and one. Walk and one is only three hundred seven, uh, three hundred fifty bucks. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a nice entry level way of, uh, of of getting in there, and that's what I, I use when I'm on the road is a walk and one. Did you uh, did you study bears before animating this short? Oh yeah, I studied polar bears before animating this short. You know, I, I've studied a lot of bears because I I co-directed Brother Bear. And so I've got a lot of years of bear study under my belt. Uh, but in this case, it's specifically a polar bear. If, you're, if you guys are new to this, um, to what we're doing here, this is an animated short that we've been working on, toying around with for the last six years or so, but we're finally getting around to making it. And uh, it's, a, it's a story about a lonely polar bear living in the Arctic who can't seem to make any friends. And so... Ultimately, he ends up making a snow bear for companionship, and it's that, that's the story. Uh, Emma asks, one thing I'm struggling with at the moment is painting backgrounds. Are you planning on making a course on how to paint backgrounds at some point? Yes. Layout and backgrounds, mm -hmm. actually. Matter of fact, I'm doing all of my own layouts for this uh, short and all of my own backgrounds. So like the background you see right here, I painted before I sat down to do. Oh, someone just pointed out that they're actually seeing Wacom Ones on sale for $250 for some Black Friday retailers. Oh my, that's a great deal. That's a great deal. If yeah. you guys can grab that, then grab it. That's a really good deal. I swear, every time I hear Wacom, I'm just thinking the sound uh, Pac-Man makes in the game. Waka 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 waka. And uh, Michael uh, um, Minnick Chavez says, it was great to meet you and Dustin at Lightbox. Thank you for looking over some of my work and giving me feedback. Sure. Great meeting you too. What's the difference between layout and backgrounds? The layout is the drawing, and uh, but it also has all the camera direction. It shows where the characters are going to be the layout is the drawing of the background so but it's it is it, like i said it has it has directions on where the character is supposed to stand or, or act it has um uh information on the size of the of the field you know how much the camera sees it has all the camera movement directions in there all of that and then the background is the actual painting. And Julia of Facebook says, hello everybody. Hello Julia. I'm so happy to be here. It's been a while. Uh, no it's rehearsal been a while. today. Uh, got one more week to go before premiere and then I'll be regular to, to live streams again. Oh, awesome. Are you still Are harvesting you olives? Still what? Harvesting olives. She was harvesting olives the last time we we spoke. Should get a response pretty soon. When last we spoke. And uh, Manuel uh, says, when working on a project, I have, I have many doubts about uh, the research part of the process. Do you have any advice or any common mistakes uh, I should be taking into account? Uh, when doing research. Also, how much time did you dedicate to research for Brother Bear or Snow Bear, for example? About a year, but we're always researching. Even as we're making the movie, we're researching to make sure we're doing it right. Um, no, I mean, the biggest thing about research is not doing enough of it. So I'm not sure what your doubts or fears are on it. Just make sure you're, you're doing enough of it before you commit to your story. That's the biggest thing. 
Uh, how was the CTN event last Friday? And did you see any of your old Disney colleagues? We saw a lot of our old Disney colleagues, and it was, it was great. We really enjoyed it. Um, actually, really enjoyed it. It was, uh, it was a pleasure. Um, it wasn't too crowded, and uh, um, the event itself was really nice, really well managed. And I got to, you know, I got to do some stuff I'd, I've never done before at CTN. You know, doing my large drawing, my large format drawings was fun. I did some of those in charcoal on giant brown paper. Um, <clears throat> Did some live animation. Oh, we did. I spent three days animating uh, on paper. It was actually this shot, actually. I, I, try, I decided to try doing it on paper for, for the audience. And so I, um, I uh, created this shot and basically got it down to twos. And Julie responds saying, uh, I'm done with harvesting all olives um out of 150 olive trees i harvested 12 made 500 kilos of olives 100 kilos of olive oil and that's about 45 50 pounds that's just from 12 trees 12 trees wow out of 150 50 150 i want to let people know that might have been joining late uh we are having a whole bunch of Black Friday sales over at CreatureArtTeacher.com. Uh, the biggest one is our membership is on sale. Give one, get one free. Basically, uh, for one flat fee, you can get everything on the website. Uh, that's all the brushes, photo packs, 600 hours of courses, plus everything we release over the next year. And right now, for Black Friday this weekend, if you order a membership, you can also send one free to a friend. So... That's a huge deal. It's the best thing we have. And you can schedule that, by the way, to be delivered any day. So if you want it to be delivered on Christmas Day or on their birthday or something like that, that can be done. We've also got this weekend, we've got six courses that are all down to $5, including some of our most popular ones, like how to draw and procreate, character design, story. We've got a whole bunch of courses on sale for just $5 each. We've got three brand new courses that are up for pre-order for 50% off. Uh, including an oil painting course, a new one from Ken Spurduso on portraits and oil painting. He also does some digital as well. A brand new animation course from Aaron Blaze on animating on paper. And a really cool design stylization course from David Coleman. And those are all up for pre-order. If you head on over to CreatureArtTeacher.com. Yeah, I'm shooting for, uh, for me, for my course, I'm shooting for January 1st. Yep. That's our goal. Ken's comes out in December, yours is in January, and then David's is in February. 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 And then we've also got um, uh, Saturday, December 17th, Aaron's doing a live animation and procreate workshop. That's an all-day workshop. That's going to be a live stream like this, but it's ticketed, so it's more private, and uh, they're always great events. We do them. Uh, every few months uh, and it's six hours it's six hours it's like a full day plus you get to ask q and a we get a lot and you get a copy of everything when it's done so check that out head on over to creatureartteacher.com slash live and also we have the uh, uh the prints pr yeah we've got two new prints available for sale you can learn more about those at creatureartteacher.com slash prints i was just gonna hit those later though Have you ever seen the Ninja Batman movie? If so, what did you think? No, I haven't. Have you never seen it? Um, I believe I did. I, I think it's the the CG anime, but it has the hard lines like his own is a two D. Um, it's interesting, but there's one other one that I've seen that's really interesting. It's like a like a kung fu like Chinese style Batman. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, it's really neat. The fighting sequences are in are really good. I'll I'll show it to you later. I wanted to see the. There was one that they came out with that was 
what was it, Batman by Gaslight, and it's all set like Victorian. It's like yeah. him, him trying to catch Jack the Ripper. It's yeah, I think like I saw that. a few episodes, or I saw a few clips. It, of it. looked it really, really cool. Really it's good. got like a steampunk style almost to it. Yeah. I'm always a sucker for the steampunk kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Nerd. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I am a man proud. Proud. The glass feels really slick today. I don't know what it is. The whole stylus feels slick. Uh, Julia says uh, about the about the olive says, uh, "Yep, it was a good year for olive oil." Uh, I'm wondering if there's a way to send you some olive oil. I love to share. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we we go through a lot of oil, olive oil in this house. Oh yeah, I eat and consume a lot of olive oil. What is a uh, creative director, and what's the difference between that and a main director? Creative director? Yes. They might be meaning art director. Yeah, because that, that usually is an art director position. But like, was was the? You're 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 in charge of the look. Mm. Of something. YouTube comment, Aaron, I made a snow bear ornament in honor of you and snow bear. I'll be posting a picture of it soon. Oh, cool. I'll have to look for it. We're very excited to see it. Uh, which animators would you want to invite to the snow bear premiere once it's all completed? Well, definitely the, the entire animation cast on this show I want, I want there. So you? Yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you guys to pick up on that. You're a little slow to the punch. <laughs> I was, I was just keeping quiet. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Uh, I don't know that we're gonna have a. Keen, least, we'll have but... a little thing for ourselves. I don't know that we'll have a big party premiere other than having drinks in the back patio and celebrating for several days. <laughs> for several days, more more like a month of just partying. <clears throat> Party for a month and have it hang over that last of the rest of the year. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, are you planning to make video tutorials on things like uh, fire, wind, lightning, snow? Yes. Like absolutely. visual effects, basically, on mm -hmm. how to like animate those. Absolutely. Okay, this head I want to turn a little bit differently. I want it to drag. This is what I love about TV paints, the ability to, or just working digitally is the ability to do this kind of thing. Whereas back in the day, I'd have to cut or, or just redraw. But I want a little bit of kind of drag in the head as he's turning. I think you should change this whole shot to like where he takes a step and he just falls down through the snow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he doesn't know what's under that snow. No, yeah, none of us do. There could be a deep crevasse there. A crevasse. That sounds like something you would uh, make as a blooper. Mm -hmm. uh, have you been to Scandinavia before? <gasps> I have not. We want to go, for sure. Uh, ever worked with Don Hahn? Oh, yes. Many times. Don Hahn wrote the foreword to my, our book. My book on uh, uh, my Aaron Blaze, Art of Aaron Blaze, Volume 1. Speaking of which, you don't have a slide for this, but Dustin, I don't believe, but as part of our Black Friday sale, our books are all on sale. And um, the Art of Volume 1 that Aaron's talking about is $30 off this weekend, and you can get free shipping if you use code USA Books. Nice. And his 100 Drawings book is 50% off this weekend. 50. 50. 50. 50. Here, we should show people these books. Yeah, the only slide I have is of the, the new art. Yeah, yeah. Book. Which you can show that too, because we're. 
Yeah, we're going to uh, pull up the book. And Julia mentions about uh, the olive oil, says, yep, uh, no chemicals at all, just pure, naturally cultivated olive oil. That's cool. Go to the big shot. Switch to, here we go. All set. So these books here, if you go to Creature Art Teacher, excuse me, Aaron. Uh -uh. <laughs> it's in your face. It looked like I was hitting you with the book. Yeah. If you go to creatureartteacher.com slash books, you can get these books on uh, their shipping now for the holidays. So we've got The Art of Aaron Blaze Volume 1, which is a really nice coffee table book. It's $30 off. And the 100 Drawings book, which is all pen and inks, that is 50% off. And if you order now, you'll get them in time for the holidays. Yes. Creatureartteacher.com slash books. Order them now. Now, now. Order them now, now, now. We're actually getting low on them. Yeah, we're getting really low on them, to be honest. Especially the hardcover. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, who animated the magic carpet in uh, Aladdin? That was Duncan Marjorie Banks. YouTube comment, Aaron, I saw you at CTN, but I didn't get your autograph. Why well, not? He was there all week. Snooze, you lose, pal. <laughs> no, you should have come up and said hi. I don't know if I was busy or what the what was going on. Did you get a chance to go to any of the panels or workshops? No, I did. I did a couple workshops. Not you. I was asking them. But oh, 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 sorry. Uh, I thought you were asking a question from them. Uh, have you seen the season finale of Endor? Can't wait to see season two. I have not seen it yet. So don't yeah, see. I have. Was that a little disappointment I heard in your voice, Aaron? It was, I mean, no. It, it, the show is awesome. It was just, it wasn't, it, it was much more of a cliffhanger than I was hoping for. Mm -hmm. I knew it was going to be somewhat, but I just, yeah, it was just, Wish they could have done a little more with it. That's all. What other places in uh, East Africa do you want to visit next? You know what? Uh, Definitely want to see more of the Serengeti, Serengeti mm -hmm. uh, the Ngorgo Crater. Um, uh, that's his foot coming up there. Sorry, hold on. There we go. Um, but I, you know what? My heart, it will always be in the Maasai Mara. Yeah. It's just wonderful there. If you go to the Maasai <laughs> Question about the scene you are animating. How do you achieve this effect <clears throat> uh, to have like the foots of the bear that are a bit slowed down by the snow? Thanks for all the work. Well, when I get through this, it's going to be timing. I'll adjust timing so it feels like he's... Um, He's struggling with that with the snow a little bit, but there, I'm also going to be adding footprints. So the footprints will be revealed as he as the foot is lifted out of the snow. So that's another thing that will be added. But the weight is really all in the timing. You know, when he gets a a foot down into the snow, then there's a little bit of a pause as he pu pushes his way through. He'll slow down a little bit. They said every time, the person from CTN, they said every time I came by your booth, you were up on stage doing live drawing. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Sorry uh, about that. I hate me. <laughs> uh, Letizia Sachi uh, on Facebook. Hey, uh, Letizia. Says, hi, Aaron. Hello uh, from Italy. Well, you, she's in Italy. I'm not in Italy. <laughs> if you had uh, the chance to go back in time, uh, what would you do differently, and in which animated movie? Um, I would have really, if I could go back in time, I would have gone back to 
The Rescuers Down Under, which wasn't a really big movie, but it had a character in it I really wanted to work on, and that was Marahute, the eagle. Mm. And Glenn animated Marahute, and I didn't push hard enough to, to work on his uh, uh, animation unit. And I would have really loved because uh, I told him after the fact, when we worked together on Beauty and the Beast, I said, yeah, man, I really wanted to work on Marahute. And he goes, oh, my gosh, I wish I would have known. I would have had you on and all this. So there was a big regret. Yeah. Um, and Erica uh, asks, what's the last day to order and receive it by the holidays? Receive what? The books. The books or the prints. Um, yes. It depends on where you're at, obviously. But if well, you're... you said this is Erica? Yeah. So I guess she's in the... If you're oh. in the U.S., pretty much by December 15th would be the latest. You'd want to order anything. If you're... Uh, but forget inter- it if you're in Alabama. <laughs> if you're international, uh, you'd pretty much want to order by December 5th at the latest. Yeah. And Martin says, hope you had a great Thanksgiving yesterday. Martin Burger. Martin Burger. Martin Burger. Martin Burger. Martin. Yeah, we had a really good Thanksgiving yesterday. It was good. It was nice. It was great nice. It was great nice. Ryan asked, does Africa get busy? Do you see other uh, foreigners and tourists when you're out watching the lions? Yes. It, you can. I you'll, mean, you'll see other land rovers. It, it, it's, not, it's not like a theme park. It's not like that. It's not like a, uh, a national park here in the United States. Um, but it can get, you know, if there's a kill... Uh, and the word gets out to the other guides, sometimes you'll get, you know, 15 or 20 Land Rovers around a kill. Oh, yeah. Um, But, by and large, it's pretty... You can have some pretty private time out there. You don't run into too many. Yeah, there was lots of times where we didn't see anybody. Yeah. You know, and, you know, the... It's sort of an interesting feel, having been there twice now, I got a little more sense of how it works. You know, you go out with your guides from your camp, and they want to make sure that you have the best experience possible. But, at the same time, they also are sort of colleagues with all the other guides, so, you know, they kind of, as a professional courtesy, let one another know, oh, we think there's an animal over here. We think there's the animals over here. Or the leopards were spotted in this area the other day. And so... Yeah, everybody kind of cooperates. Yeah, yeah. But it just kind of... Sometimes it's just pure luck of the draw, you know, on what you see on a given day. In fact, that's mostly what it is. Yeah, I um, think the... I remember uh, since it was my, my first and only time out there, I think... The most we saw as far as like other uh, camps and their vehicles was actually on the very first day with the uh, first cheetah kill. When yeah. there was like at least like what? There was like at least 15, 20 rovers out there, including ours. Yeah. Like everywhere, every other day, like at most we would see like maybe five or six other groups. But that was like maybe like. Maybe like once every other day. Dylan wants to know, who animated Zazu in The Lion King? Ellen Woodbury. She was the supervisor. And then Fun Film Animations asks on YouTube, who took the photos in the big cat class? That's actually, Those are your photos in that course, right, Aaron? Yes. Yeah. Those are all mine. Speaking of photos and photo packs, uh, Dustin... Dustin has photo packs, and Aaron has photo packs that are both on sale at a deep discount. In fact, I think they're at only a dollar each over oh, at wow. CreatureArtTeacher.com. Uh, the photo packs are way on sale for this weekend. So, as are all of our That's Photoshop brushes. <laughs> and each of the packs have anywhere between 500 to like 800 photos, more or less. Mm-hmm. And they were all shot with the idea of artistic reference in mind yes. so yes, indeed. Dustin shoots like a hundred thousand photos <laughs> and then we'll narrow it down to the ones that work the best for 
artistic reference, Aaron will, and then that's what we put in the photo packs. Pretty much. And we are getting close to having a video reference pack. That I'm super excited I'm about. I'm hoping to have that out before Christmas. That's part of... Yeah, man, that would be that would be amazing if we can get that out. That's going to be popular. Yep. Because it's good, I mean, it's good not just for animation, it's good for painting as well. Yep. So... I, or just drawing reference. Just you know? drawing, yep. Dustin has spent months going through and stabilizing all of the video we've shot. Yep. Blue Star Lotus on YouTube asks, Hey Aaron, I have a question. Can you tell me the difference between layout and storyboarding? Is storyboarding similar to illustrating? And do you write down details, timings, seconds and minutes, etc. when you do layout? No. So storyboarding, think of, the, there's different processes to, or different steps along the way of making an animated film. So obviously the first step is writing the story. You have to write the script. And it all is in a written form in pages. And that's cool, but you have 30 people read that, and they'll have 30 different ideas of what that movie is because they don't know the imagery. So the first step after that, or the next step after that, I should say, is to storyboard it. It's basically taking the words that have been written and turning it into a comic book. Let's say it's a, it's a comic book that's timed out, a visual comic book. And so that's the first time that the written word is turned into images for the screen, which is why I'm always encouraging story artists to really, you know, it's my opinion that story artists have to be some of the best artists on the crew because of that. They're, they are taking that written word for the first time and describing what this story is visually. And so the better you are at cinematics and all of that as a storyboard artist and character and, and all of that, you can your storyboards will get less and less changed because there is a, uh, you know, through the process, the storyboards tend to get changed a fair amount. So, um, so the storyboard is there basically to tell the story visually. It's to, to see what the movie, the movie is before you actually make the movie. But we actually cut it together in, in the editing suite and uh, or cut all the story sketches together. Uh, to get a sense of what the movie's going to be. We'll even record scratch dialogue uh, for it. Um, so there's that scratch dialogue meaning temporary dialogue. So that's storyboarding. And then the other one was layout, asking about layout. Yeah, 